So the ego is a master at, at making up a crystal ball of a world in which there are many perceived problems. There's, there's not only a body and bodies, but there's all these problems. There's financial problems, there's health issues, there's, there's issues about um, interpersonal relationships, there's all these pseudo problems that all of them exist in this crystal ball of time and space. And Jesus and the Holy Spirit are like going, turn your mind to, to us, turn away from that crystal ball, turn to the light. In the light, you, that's who you are. You don't really have any problems because none of the crystal ball problems that you believe in are real. So you're hallucinating, but you think it's real. You've gone to a movie theater and now you've, you've got hooked on the movie. And now you're reacting and responding to all the characters and the images that are part of the movie. And now you believe you're in the movie. You believe you're a character inside the movie. Like Jesus does say once in the Course, he said, there is one question that you can safely ask. One question, he says, that you can safely ask with any situation, with any circumstance. How do I feel? Oh, he's given me one question to ask and, I, and he's saying, yeah, let go of all your time, space. Imagine that there is no crystal ball. Imagine that you're just a mind with thoughts and now you're just working with your mind and there is no world. He does teach that in Lesson 132. He says, there is no world exclamation point. There is no world apart from what you think. And so if, if for one moment I say, okay Jesus, I'm going to go with you. I'm going to say, all right, I'm not going to ask any questions about time and space. I'm not going to ask any questions about learning, nothing about time and space. In fact, as soon as I hear this thought in my mind, practically speaking, how do you exist in the world? Jesus is saying, yeah, who is the you that exists in the world? Ha ha ha. No, no, come back. How do I feel? Let's just come back to emotional honesty of how do I feel? You see, that one question at least points you back into your mind. It doesn't point you out on a wild goose chase of time and space. It doesn't point to inside the crystal ball. It actually is more authentic to say, how do I feel? And what if you just use that, how do I feel, in an authentic way to come into what, what is your will for me? Mm. You were saying that yeah. this morning. Yeah. What is your will for me is, it seems more honest than yeah. What shall I do as a person? That yeah. seems like a very inauthentic uh, question compared to, Father, what is your will for me? Or, how do I feel and what is your will for me? Yeah.